Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Sunday. Okay guys, so as you know, I took off Friday and Saturday, yesterday. Um, I have not been having a great weekend. You know, I think with the passing of one of our friends and all of the things, it's just, it. you sometimes like, you, you're like, I gotta check out, man. I need a break. It's like it, everything like comes to and builds up and then you just like, <sighs> what do I do, right? So it was really nice to take off those two days. But in the two days that I took off, a lot of happened. And I don't even know where to begin. I feel like I have so much catching up to do. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So let's switch this around, change the energy, get right into it. Because um, Shannon Medora's ex, John Jansen, who's currently with Alexis Bellino, is apparently suing her over a 70000 plus facelift. And now she is responding to the lawsuit. And I have my naked on my lap. So it doesn't get better than that. Here we go. Okay, guys. So before we jump in, you guys know everyone's always asking me. We've been traveling a lot. Jason and I are going to Charleston now, and it's nonstop all the time. Well, everyone's always asking me about my skincare and you guys know I use number seven, but my tool is Bloomy. So with the press of this button, this little guy has different settings and it uses a microcurrents, feels like a little massage to lift, rejuvenate, illuminate, and take out all of the inflammation from your skin, which is a blessing. Thank you, Bloomy. So I'm going to put the link for blooming inside of the comment section also the description but normally it's 150 dollars. but with the link you get over 70 dollars off so i say let's talk about shannon bador yeah, this one is a disaster i don't even know where to start so thank you to reality blurb john jansen is obviously currently dating alexis bellino now alexis is currently co-stars with shannon bador yeah we know He's now filed a lawsuit against Shannon for $75,000. In the lawsuit filed this Wednesday at the Orange County Superior Court, Shannon's former partner is accusing the Real Housewife of Orange County star of a breach of oral contract and promissory fraud as he aims to reclaim the $75,000 that he asserts she allegedly owes him. According to People Magazine, John alleges that in early 2022, Shannon sought his financial assistance, borrowing $40,000 from him through a wire transfer on January 23rd, 2022, purportedly for a facelift procedure. Later, on May 20th, 2023, John alleges that he provided her with an additional $35,000 through a personal check. It's a lot of fucking money. But you know what? To be fair, I gotta say, after Sonya Morgan got her facelift... And it was like seventy five thousand. She looked good. Caroline Stanberry looks good. Shannon Bedore, even at BravoCon, looked good. So, I mean, see, looks good. Looks snatched. Anyways, back to it. So John again claims that Shannon promised to pay him back the loan with interest, but has yet to, despite the many attempts to get his money back from her in both 2023 and 2024. He's now suing Shannon for the full amount of the loan, along with accrued interest costs and attorney's fees. John's attorney is also speaking out, telling the outlet that Shannon is now claiming the loan was a monetary gift, a claim that they are disputing as they state John has proof this was in fact a loan. Edson K. McKellen of Rutten, Rutten and Tucker LLP informs that Miss Bedore's defense that Mr. Jansen paid her the $75,000 as a gift is completely baseless. As their emails and text messages will demonstrate, Mr. Jansen regrets that Bedore's refusal to repay the loans necessitated the filing of this lawsuit. Now, this lawsuit is somewhat surprising as one of the Real Housewives of Orange County, some of Shannon's co-stars painted a picture of John being reliant on Shannon financially rather than the other way around. So John and Shannon called it quits in November of 2022, following over three years of dating and shortly after filming ended of The Real Housewives of Orange County season 17, as you guys know. Obviously, the pair sparked rumors that they had gotten back together because they maintain a friendship. 
But it was after Shannon's DUI arrest in September of 2023, she later revealed that she was no longer speaking with John. Now, later in November of 2023, John fueled dating rumors with Alexis as the two went public. And even more now, Alexis was offered a role. She's currently filming. And I mean, it's a shit show. But again, now Shannon Bedore is responding to this shit show. Wait for it. Like, you can't write this stuff. Because at first I was wondering, what is her response going to be? What is she going to say, right? Oh, well, they got it. Thank you to Radar Online. She's firing back at John Jansen after he's suing her. She said, I am shocked and disappointed that John has filed a lawsuit. My attorney has been in constant communication with his counsel. I agreed to pay John what he wanted because I knew that attorney's fees would surpass the amount sought, but more importantly, to eliminate the negative emotional components that come with a lawsuit. It is important that I continue to focus on the positive aspects of my life and move forward. Now, she said that John declined that offer because he refused to sign a mutual non-disparagement agreement. And I was hoping that if I met him baseless or met his baseless demands, we could at least use this as an opportunity to bring complete closure to this chapter of my life. So I'm guessing John declined the offer because he refused to sign a mutual non-disparagement agreement. I'm thinking what she probably said is, okay, I'm going to pay you what you want. In return, you have to sign this agreement saying that you're not going to talk shit about me. And I'm going to sign an agreement saying that I'm not going to talk shit about you. And I think that he is probably like, well, Alexis and I have already talked while filming. So who knows if that's going to be considered. And also, no, when I gave you the money, did it come with conditions? So why are you going to pay me back the money with conditions? I can say whatever I want. I'm a grown ass man. I'm guessing that's probably the lens that he's looking at it through, but smart for her and for her attorney to say, I mean, to at least go for it. I think it's smart to go for it because she was like, okay, this is an opportunity. This man, I know that he wants his money back. I know that, you know, like he just wants to be paid $75,000. Okay, I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. Let's leave it out of court. You don't have to pay attorney's fees, nothing like that. But maybe in return, since I'm making this a lot easier and you can now drop this lawsuit, you do, you scratch my back. I scratch your back, you scratch my back. Mm -mm, that's, not what, that's not what's happening. So, Back down to it. RadarOnline.com obviously previously reported that Jansen filed the lawsuit, and this, again, was for breach or oral contract and promissory fraud. I think... I think Shannon's going to lose this one. And also, to be honest with you, I think John Jansen knows that. He gave you money. There's emails and texts saying that he let you borrow the money. Two separate transactions, 30000 and 45000 One was wired. One was through a check. There's a whole trail here. And the best that you got is that you guys had an oral agreement. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to hear what your thoughts are. Who do you think is going to win this? And I think that we should do a poll. I'm actually going to do a poll on the community tab. It's so nice to be back with you guys. I missed you guys so much. Happy Sunday. And don't forget to check out the link in the description of this video and pinned in the comment section because um, Blue Mean is where it's at. I love you guys. See you next time.